Are you surprised to see me? Stop screaming. Stop struggling. Five seconds of this class soaked in a cleaning agent should shut you up. If you don't want to get injured, don't talk. I like you. I'm unhappy that you went out drinking with your friends. So, yes, I broke into your house. Just do what I say. Why did you have to go out drinking with your friends? It was so much better when we were housemates in Badok. Why did you have to move out and leave me? We lived there for three years. I see you are enjoying your new place. Glad you placed your key by your room window. Or I would have never gotten in. I'm happy your window faced the public corridor. Easy access to your key. I made my own copy. When I confessed to liking you, you rejected me. But you still kept in touch with me. Why? Because I owed you money and you wanted it back? That's why? Earlier, I texted you that I wanted to send fruits to your home. You responded that you were out drinking with friends. And that you would be out till late. I asked you to let me know when you'd be done. You didn't let me know. That made me unhappy and jealous. I believe that the friends you were out with included other men. I packed a foldable knife, two sleeping pills, and a white cloth. I also brought along a bottle of clear alcohol containing a mixture of water in cleaning agent. My sling bag is so convenient. And I immediately left for your house. With the intention to restrain you. So, here I am. Don't fight with me on this. I will cut you. You don't listen. I came at around 1am. I used the key to let myself in. I locked the door back after I got inside. I've been waiting for you. I forced open your bedroom door. And I have been waiting. I asked you if I should sleep or wait for you. You text me hours later saying that we should meet another day. That made me angry and even more jealous. Now here you are getting home ten minutes after making me wait hours for a text. I will tighten the grip I have around your neck if you try me. Stop struggling. Now follow me home. Don't ask me why. Keep quiet. Take these pills. You see this knife at your throat, don't you? I am now going to assault you if you don't stop fighting. See what you made me do? Now your neck is fractured. If you do not want to see blood, just listen to what I say. I need a smoke. Darn it, I'm out of cigarettes. I have to go buy cigarettes at 7-Eleven. Let's go. Let's get out of this house. You kicked my knife away. Didn't I tell you to stop struggling? You have me dragging you around by your wrist because you cannot listen. 
Don't say a word to these people you see passing by. I won't let you get away. It's 4.20 a.m. Why do you have me up, stalking, beating, and kidnapping you this late? Stop trying to draw attention to us. Let that shelf go. Stop fighting me! That cab driver better not call the police! That CCTV footage better not capture me. I don't care about your t-shirt and shorts being covered in mud. I don't care about your shoe being lost. Look what you did. Now the police is coming. Now you're gonna make me break your neck in this chokehold. Look at the bruises on your face. Your hyoid bone is even fractured. All because I had to grab your neck so hard to shut you up. I told you to listen to me. This would have never happened if you didn't go out drinking with your friends. Look at the strangulation marks you made me put on your neck. Okay, okay. I'll let go, officer. The police will not be able to save you next time. Update. The 27-year-old man was jailed for four and a half years on Saturday, August 26, 2021, after he pleaded guilty to housebreaking, voluntarily causing grievous hurt to the victim, criminal intimidation, and abduction. Two charges of similar nature, including wrongful restraint, were considered for his sentencing. True story.